Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody and today I'm going to show you how you can adjust the Neofly database and do things like perhaps increase your rank to give you access to more missions, uh, add money if you want a bit more money to buy some aircraft or something, uh, also how to do things like add type ratings so you're able to fly different aircraft. Uh, but before I do that, remember go ahead smash the like button down below and if you are new how about consider subscribing. It costs nothing at all except just a little bit of self-respect. So with all that said, let's get right into it. And here I am in the Neofly login screen. And you might ask, well, why would I go ahead and adjust the database? You know, I like starting from the bottom and working my way up. Well, that's completely fine. And that's what I like doing too. So you can just go ahead and do that. But perhaps you're maybe using a number of different career add-ons and you don't want to putt around in the default, uh, in the Cessna 152 or the Skyhawk or the X-Cub because you've done plenty of flying in that and you want to start off with a, with a higher aircraft or a bigger and faster aircraft or perhaps with a bit more money just to give yourself some flexibility. At the end of the day, you can play this app the, any way you like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to adjust a new account. It, it doesn't matter if you've got an existing account with Neofly or existing pilot with Neofly. It doesn't matter. It's exactly the same. But let's just make up a new pilot. It's, I'm going to call this one Kiwi YouTube. Um, and let's just start it in NZAA because why not? And let's just start with the uh, default uh, Cessna 152. You've got a couple options. So I just go add pilot. Pilot has been added, use the drop down, and we go to Kiwi YouTube right there. Let's start that up. Okay, we're now in the app right here, and if we have a look at some of the details right here, if we go to our finances, we have $10,000. Uh, so this is just to give us some base figures to show how it all works. Uh, if we go into our uh, flying tab right here, we've only got access to the Cessna 152. That's our only aircraft we've got. In fact, if we go in the hangar, it's probably a better way to go. We've got a Cessna 152 in our hangar, and if we go into staff, you can see right here that we only have our single engine piston type rating. So what I'm going to do is show you how to download the, what program you need to use for a start and how to download the program and use the program that's going to allow you to adjust these just to give you a bit of a head start if that's what you want to do. So uh, let's jump into a browser. Okay, we're over here in the browser and sqlitebrowser.org. There it goes right up the top there. That's the address you need to go to. Go to the downloads page right here. And you can see the different options right there. So just choose the one that is applicable for your system and download this program. Just a note to say this is all done at your own risk. I've had absolutely no problem as have many people uh, in the Neofly Discord and uh, in the Neofly community. But as always, take the necessary precautions when downloading external programs. But all you need to do is download that, uh, extract it, and uh, run that program. Uh, we'll go and grab it once we are in the program. Okay, here we are in the program here. It's called DB Browser for SQLite. Uh, and what you need to do is you need to find the correct database that you're going to edit. So if we go to File, I've already got mine selected here because... Uh, I've used it before, but mine's located in program data slash neofly slash common.db. So common.db is the database you're looking for. I'll just grab my uh, my file explorer across here. Here goes my neofly folder right here. Uh, and as you can see, you've got a few folders in there, a few files, and I've got common.db. What I would recommend is you go in and do a copy of it, make a copy of it, a backup, if you've got another um, career in there that you do, don't want to mess up, because if you get in the database, you could accidentally uh, mess things up because uh, uh, directly editing databases uh, can cause some issues sometimes. So just be aware of that. I would recommend backing that up if you do have a career uh, that you want to make sure that you don't lose. So once again, you're looking for your common dot database. You go up to File, you go Open Database, uh, and then navigate to wherever your uh, common.db is located and open that up. So I'll go ahead and do that. I already know where mine is, so I go ahead and just press that. Once you do it once, that's all you need to do. So what you want to do is once you're in here, uh, let's just do, say, a couple of really basic things. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just add some money uh, to my player. Uh, so you want to go to browse data right here and you want to select the right table because uh, that will show you the one that you can manipulate. Now in the meantime I've closed Neofly because you want to close it and reopen it every time you make a change here. And so the table right here you drop it down 
And it's kind of a little bit self-explanatory, but do a little bit of looking around here and you'll be able to see uh, the table that you actually want to um, adjust. But if I go to career right here, this is a one that uh, you can actually adjust a couple of things in here that will make your life a little bit easier. Uh, we can see right here we've got Kiwi, that's my main account. Uh, and up the top here you can see the different little uh, current um, database uh, tables that, or, or tabs that you need to change. So you've got XP, so if you want to add yourself, add some XP. Cash is the big one. So here we go right here. Let's do that right now. NZAA, I've got 10,000. Let's make it 5, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Easy as that. 5 million cash I've got right now just by doing that now what do you want to make sure you do everybody is go ahead and press right changes once you do that you're locked and loaded so kiwi youtube will now have five million cash how about we just quickly go and check that let me grab neofly and here we are back in neofly so if i go up to my finances tab there we go ladies and gentlemen five million right there so if i perhaps wanted to go uh we're in the nzaa right here and i wanted to buy the Cessna Longitude, I am good to go. I can go ahead and buy that now. Oh, I, I now own a Cessna Longitude. I accidentally bought that. Ha! <laughs> Luckily, I got plenty of money. Not a problem at all. So let's go back and let's get rid of that right there. Quit Neofly. Let's look at some of the other things that you can manipulate right here. Now, once again, you don't have to do this. This is just perhaps if you want to start at a different level. Uh, you can go through here and if I just right here rank so that's another one that's going to unlock certain missions so you, i don't think you noticed before but i've only got access to the basic level one missions because my rank is zero i could go ahead and press level four right there now i've got the top rank i go ahead and uh, write those changes and uh, i now have access to all those missions now at the moment here goes all the type ratings that i have so the different category aircraft that i have access to at the moment i've only got access to the, the basic one so i can go ahead let's make me true just change it to true 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 there we go i now should have i'm back in the app right now and there you can see a b and c are all ticked i now have access to all of them and if i go to the missions uh, I've, they're all green because I've got enough rank to be able to fly all these missions that are listed on the page right there. So as you can see, it sort of follows a bit of a pattern here. This is probably the database uh, that you're going to spend the most time in if you're going to adjust things. And that's your career database if you want to give yourself a little bit of extra money or whatever you'd like to do. There are a different a number of different other, other tabs right here. You have got the aircraft uh, market right here. Okay, and in here, uh, what I might want to do is purchase, say, the Baron G58, the Baron 58. Uh, but as I can see, at the moment, it's I'm in Kelowna in British Columbia in CYLW, uh, but I don't have uh, a Baron 58 to purchase. And so what I might just do is just change its location, go CYLW, just like that. Select it, and if I write that change right there, let's jump back in the program. And here I am back in Neofly and the Baron G58 is now available in CYLW. So really everybody, it is as simple as that. Whatever you need to adjust in the database, you just find the appropriate table in here and then you can go and adjust it. One thing that I was doing the other day was adjusting my missions. Uh, so I could show you the crash mission. I changed the, uh, the departure latitude and longitude uh, of a certain mission to the same as the arrival so it was sitting on the middle of the runway uh, so you can do things like that maybe you like a certain mission that's not currently being shown in the, your database uh, sorry at your airport just go in and change the uh, location of one of these missions and you're good to go so you can get quite technical uh, but all in all it's actually pretty simple to change this stuff like I said if you haven't had much experience in databases um, this isn't too difficult to be fair, but if you haven't had much experience um, or just as a good practice, go ahead and uh, back up your common database, common.db file right there. That way that your any other current careers you have aren't going to get uh, lost accidentally. I mean, obviously I haven't done it, uh, so I should probably take my own advice. But right there, you can go through, check out all these different tabs. Uh, you might, uh, you know, with the FBO uh, implementation you might go ahead and change some of the details you might decide that you don't uh, want something or you want to adjust the cost of something you can go ahead and do that yourself so 
uh, yeah, heaps of options just to give that bit of variety or change things and customize things to your liking in the program. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, go ahead and post questions down below if you have any. I'm not an absolute expert on databases, but this one's pretty straightforward as you can see. It's a case of just finding the right part within the database and making the adjustments. So gives that an added bit of flexibility as I said. So uh, with that said, thank you very, very much for watching the video. Make sure you smash the like button down below, subscribe if you are new, and until next time everybody, take it easy.